Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing this Duels of the Roses uh, playthrough with this quite degenerate deck. Where we're using basically whatever means we want to to finish our opponent in some pretty brutal ways. Now we're on the second side. Um, these opponents are a little bit more dangerous. Um, Rex is annoying, mostly because he's uh, got such a cheap deck and and he has pretty decent leader powers. Uh, I would say they are quite good leader powers. Um, he also has. Hmm, Serpent Marauder, I don't need to call it the Haunted. The Serpent Marauder kind of messes him up because um, he can't utilize the train advantage that he has <clears throat> as well. But that's fine because uh, he doesn't really need it. Um, he just needs this power from it. He doesn't need to move quickly, um, especially in his leader range because he gets the same effect in his leader range uh, to move multiple spaces, and he can uh, use it even with Serpent Marauder on the field, so. Because apparent, for some reason, Serpent Marauder's effect doesn't affect. Uh, it only affects terrain. It doesn't work on um, leader buffs. Um, I'm not sure about King Tiger Wangu um, and Super War Lion. I'm not sure. Well, um, here's the end of the game. This is uh, unfortunately game over. Because object permanence doesn't exist for this game's AI. The fact that this is a 5300 just doesn't register. No, oh, not dead. Trying some light on this situation. Oh! Well, that's a real shame that your Muka Muka is no longer going to have an effect. Man, that's just so unfortunate. Oh, whoops. That's unfortunate. Hmm. That's really unfortunate. I forgot about his leader power for a second. I was going to play around it with the Mystical Elf by flipping it before I attack. And then I just completely forgot about it for Muka Muka. You know, as you do. Goodbye, Serpent Marauder. We didn't like that effect anyways. What do I have in this hand? Hmm. Here. And he attacked me. Sorry, buddy. This is a lot of overkill. Uh, but I want to get to the more interesting duels. And by that I mean duels where I can actually, you know, flex a bit more with this deck. Because I'll be able to actually have, you know, deck cost.
Okay. Um, let's see here. We can go up to like a thousand ten, right? Uh, so I'd like Dark Hole and White Hole in the deck. Um, so we have all the haunted we can get rid of for sure. White hole, a dark hole. Um, I would also like to put in a goblin fan. Not that it's going to get used for a very long time, but just so I don't forget to put it in. There will come a time when I'm going to use it on a certain last boss that I'm not particularly happy with. Um, because I don't enjoy dealing with their uh, labyrinth terrain, so we'll uh, make them have a bad day. Um, just start with one star. Oh, that's a, that's a really easy thing for me to destroy or take control of. Okay. I will go ahead and say mine. Go ahead and put this thing in defense. Since it's about to get killed by a Skelgon, so. I didn't even check the graveyard, I just used a Skelgon. So, first things first, we'll uh, drop a Man Eater bug. Probably just get into killing this guy with the use of darkness approaches. Um, hopefully we can draw a map. Oh, I probably don't have Mask of Darkness right now in this deck, and that's a real problem. I really need to have Mask of Darkness in this deck right now. That's part of my problem, I think. So, I have three very good flip effects here that I'm recurring, so this is quite solid. Oh. Ooh, an acid trapple. He said he was allowed to have one of those. Also, sir, where's your uh, dark hole? So I, I guess my man eater bug is just gonna go deal with this acid trapple since um, I can't really get around it. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with my own play there, but it's okay. Just send this in to its unfortunate demise. And then we'll send in two cards that are really good at being demise. Thank you. I will take that pumpkin. 
Man, it would feel so bad playing against this deck as zombies. Just get your pumpkin that you spent like 25 turns turning into a 9,999 attack beat stick. And it just gets turned into your opponent's pawn. And he hits you directly with it and you lose the game. It's gotta feel just absolutely horrible. Yeah, my deck is just mean. Thumb in top left, play Dark Hole, blow up field. Okay. Probably the best thing he could have done. That hurts, game. That really hurts. Of course I top deck the best answer possible to the card that he played the turn before after he used it. But that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Put this in defense and buff it once. We still haven't drawn a Magician of Faith yet, so... There we go. But, um... Guess what we're stealing? So, um, Bones, let me introduce you to my little friend. Oh, I even drew perfectly here, too. So, um, I think we're gonna beat him this way, with his own Dark Hole. This might be a little bit slower, but... We might as well do it this way. I can speed it up a little bit by using Rigorous Levers. Sir. We'll just uh, have to get rid of that Call of the Grave. For, for some reason, I, I just think that thing has to go. It's not an acceptable card, in my opinion. So, Mystical Elf will just have to punish it. Oh well, we'll just destroy four more cards of his. Move on with our lives a little bit. Oh my. Well, he just decided to discard a whole bunch of cards. Which I can't say is a good choice, considering he's at four cards left now in his deck. After that. Okay. Well, well Magician of Faith back the other darkness approaches now. Dark hole? Oh, isn't that a shame?
This is so brutal. Go ahead and darkness approaches so I can recur my stuff. I will go ahead and gladly flip this rigorous lever. Get rid of four more of his cards. And even though I haven't really played a single card in like from my hand in several turns, I've played plenty of cards. Fortunately for him, this is the end. There isn't any more. Goodbye to your hand. And... Oh, I... There's my dark hole. Or his dark hole that I've just so happened to have borrowed several times. Um, and then I'll just put this mystical elf. And they can go finish this duel. So brutal. So very, very brutal. Filled with your own dark hole. What a vicious thing to do to an opponent. I hope that you guys are all enjoying the myriad of ways to just completely crush an opponent. Also, I really do need to put those Mask of Darknesses back in the deck. Oh, hey, we got a Grave Robber. That's fun. Another card that if Mimi Cat didn't exist would totally go in this deck. Because you need recursion for monsters too to go truly infinite. Um, but let's go ahead and remove the monster eyes for Mask of Darkness. Um, 25. I figured that was a little too much. We can take out... Mm. Take out Goblin Fan. Put in Call of the Haunted. We can put it back in after this game. The rest of our opponents will be a lot higher deck cost, so this shouldn't be a problem anymore. Or pretty soon it won't be. But yeah, those Mask of Darknesses will make a huge difference in our deck for its consistency in doing terrifying things. Now this feels absolutely terrible for our opponent because our deck's win condition is not necessarily minion combat. Exhibit A. Just uh, give him a little taste of his own medicine. Must be kidding. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're leaving that in defense.
I hope I summon top left and not top right. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Oh well. As I said, not necessarily our win condition, but we have a couple options now for how we want to win this duel. Hand is just abysmal, though. Uh, I guess we can do this, right? I wish if you had movement bonus you could just move it forward and then face up defense or and then put it in defense two spaces away and then you could face down defense it afterwards. The AI is actually impressing me with its restraint today. hasn't just blindly been attacking these all the time. Now it's dead, but it, it held back for a turn. It's impressive. It's better than it usually does. Maybe it was just because I had a my creature was in my leader range and I moved it out. And his creature would have been weak in my leader range, so he didn't attack, probably. <sighs> but, alas, that duel is over. And now we can make our deck a little bit better. I know we can go up quite high because of Keith, but um, I don't think we want to go that high. Um, since we still have to deal with Pegasus. So I do want a Goblin Fan. Um, but I also want a Ririoku. And I also want to change a card. 1222 seems pretty good. Might be a little high, but nothing we can't really manage. Now, Keith, on the other hand, over here, um, if you really want to destroy him, just recur an electromagnetic bagworm. That'll absolutely wreck a machine player. There's a lot of machine hate in this game. So, if you know your opponent or bring in a machine deck, you can really make them have a bad day. This sure is a great hand. Um, this guy does have an AI that won't attack face downs, but um, he can see your face downs basically. Um, also, that was rude, sir. Now I can't play the card I wanted to. I can play a different card that I also wanted to, so that's fine. This 
use out another one. Uh, what's the biggest he can make without an equip? It's 31-ish. Oh, I guess I put my mystical elf in defense without, um... Oh, rude. Ow, sir. Damage. Pain. Not cool. Well, my creature's gonna get stunned. Oh, it's not, because that's a kinetic soldier. And I'm a god. Okay, cool. Just do one of these numbers. Then one of these. Then we'll do one of these. Then we'll do one of these. Um, and now we're going to play around Labyrinth Tank, because if we don't, we lose the game. And I prefer an approach that does not lose the game. But we have some really, really thick Mystic Robes now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one forward and play Happy Lover. I'm gonna Darkness Approach. Happy Lever is a great beat stick, by the way, so. Buffing it with the Mystical Elves is usually really good. Um, and his AI is kind of suicidal and might not actually move away from that Mystical Elf. Because usually his AI just thinks he can get over stuff that he really can't. Um, and now we're just gonna play like five cards a turn, or do five flip effects a turn when you're only supposed to do like play one card a turn. So, you know, it's really a fair and balanced thing to do in this game. a metal dragon. We're probably going to actually lose some of our creatures because um, he has barrel dragons. Plural. Go ahead and use this darkness approaches. I'm just going to recur it um, in front of me just so that he can't do anything that really shocks me, uh, because I have a card in front of me now. But um, he shouldn't really be able to go very far, even with his double movement. Because I'm kind of just in his way. Uh, I'll attack once with this. little heart beam just uh, obliterated the pendulum machine and uh, mystical elf is uh, a little bit too strong so the infinite damage to Keith is good enough
you're a machine deck, you'd want to come come to Keith and take a whole bunch of cards from him. But we're not playing machines, so we don't need to concern ourselves with that. <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure real quick that 1222 is low enough to actually face. Oh no, we can't even check if we can face everyone. The guy in the north, we can't. Unfortunate. Go ahead and just drop our deck cost a little bit. I think a change of heart can come out and then we won't have any problems anymore. So we'll leave it there for the next like three duels and then we'll get back to adding in the good stuff. Uh, so that'll do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.